So, welcome on ESCToday.com. We have uh, this year's uh, UK's Eurovision Hopefuls Blue. Hello. 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 How are you? Very yeah, good, thanks. Really good. Really good. What made you to do Eurovision Song Contest? Um, what made us do it? We, uh, it wasn't we was made to do it, we decided <laughs> to do it. <laughs> um, we, we, um, we had the opportunity and if, if, you know, in England I think it's a lot different UK, than it is. Yeah. You know, in the UK it's a lot more, um, people are a lot, they don't take it as seriously as, yeah. as people do in, in Europe, in Europe mm. and stuff. And it's, it's a shame really because we have, do have some amazing acts that come from England, such as U2, Coldplay, you know, some, you know, Oasis and, you know, Amy Winehouse, you know, the list goes on. Um, and um, for us to get offered to do the Eurovision, we just decided that we wanted to kind of make it cool again in our own country. Mm. So, uh, basically, when you were announced that you're going to be the representatives in this year's Eurovision Song Contest, there, were, there was such great hype. Uh, do you feel more pressure um, about your performance in, in Dusseldorf? Yeah, I think, I think because there are a lot of great expectations. From I think, this year. yeah, I think, I, about songs, man. I think you know this is a great opportunity for us. This is our tenth year anniversary in the business, you know, um, and what greater way to come and represent, you know, the United Kingdom, representing our country in the Eurovision Song Contest. Blue was a really big band in Europe. We sold, you know, millions of albums all across the whole of Europe. So this is just a great way to come back, representing our country and singing uh, for the Eurovision. And like Lee said. Um, the United Kingdom doesn't take the Eurovision Song Contest as seriously as, for instance, Malta does and other countries. And we just want to try and change that around because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great show and, and, and it's, been, it's, it's, you know, it's been running for, since the 70s or the 60s? 56. 56. Wow. Let's see what I know. 56. <laughs> 56. So, that's amazing. You know, really like, uh, you know, that's a, a shed load of years that has been part of our culture in all of our countries. It's something that brings everybody together once a year and it's just great that we're a part of it. Um, uh, basically, what can you tell us about the style of your song in this year's Eurovision Song Contest I can? Um, I'd say that the, the song is very blue. Um, you know, we, 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 we are renowned for uh, anthemic tracks um, such as Your One Loves, Your All Rises and uh, Flybys. And um, you know this this isn't far off, but that's a step up. You know, five years on, we're grown as men, and um, we feel that this song is a really good song to to enter into the Euro. Good. And what made you to choose Malta to kick off with the Eurovision? Well, promotion? Malta. I've I've been to Malta yeah, before been, last year, recently. so it was I had a really really good time at the Malta Music Awards. So you know, I had a fantastic time. When I come back, I told the boys, I said, look, you know, if we ever get a chance, we've got to go and do a concert in Malta. And then obviously the Eurovision come up, and then um, they said, which countries would you like to go to? And I, I put my hand up, I said, we've got to go to Malta because the Eurovision is such a big event. Um, let's, let's go there and promote and say hello to, to, you know, to the Maltese fans because as a group we never come here you know, five, ten years ago. So it's an honour and a privilege to be back here and Definitely. to see you guys. So thank you very much for having us. Yeah. Thank you. You have the um, uh, number one in mainly in UK charts. Um, how challenging is to top the UK charts, music charts? Um, I, I think it's always just about having a great song. But at the same time, it is quite difficult because, you know, I think the English press are probably one of the hardest and gruelling press of, of um, Europe and probably the whole world actually. The, the, UK press is, the UK press is pretty strict. Yeah, you know it's I mean? quite, quite it's tough. Quite, they're quite tough and they, like, they love to kind of bring you down and mm. we're trying it's to do something. Yeah, we're trying to do yeah. something good. Um, and it's, it, it can be a struggle, we're not gonna we're not gonna lie. It can be something that especially like because of the you know the nature of what's been kind of um, the the past of Eurovision in England, we haven't tended to do so well. I mean last last year we came last. Mm. And because of that the, the the English press turned their back instead of saying well, let's try and win it. Yeah. So for for us as a established act, um, who's had you know number ones and and had number one albums and you know sold out tours, I think they're more shocked that we've decided to do it and put our neck on the line. Mm. Um, and um, 
you know, I think that's the pressure because we'd, we'd love for our own country to get behind us and be like, yes. Um, but, you know, sometimes the press in England aren't that too, too kind, really. Any other countries planned uh, to visit towards the social? Yeah. We're off to Spain at the end of this week. Then we're going to go to Germany, France and Italy, Greece, uh, Cyprus, which is where my family are from. So it'd be nice to go back there and, and, and see some of the Greek and Cypriot fans as well. Because, you know, Eurovision is a big thing over there. Because, as the boys are saying, it's, it's a great singing contest. You know, we're forgetting this. I know, I know we're doing it and we're established. But there are going to be 24 other countries and 24 other fantastic acts that we've got to compete against. So I think on the nights, it is all about the songs. And I think we've got a strong song that could... That could you know, do the UK and us really, really proud. Finally, will you remain united after yeah. your Eurovision participation? Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, the Eurovision, I mean, like John was saying before, this is our 10 year anniversary. We, we, have, we had always planned to do, to do this um, for this year. Uh, it's just that, you know, we've been approached to represent our country, which is kind of like an icing on the cake at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, yes, it is a, uh, it's a great competition, uh, but Blue will continue after the competition. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. And good luck to Malta as well. Yeah. Tonight as well. Let's see who's going to get through. But um, good luck.